In this segment, we will show you how to set up your AutoCrib RDS. The RDS is designed to dispense a wide variety of products and tools from a combination of sizes. There are many possible configurations available within a single dispenser, simply because each bin can be configured for a specific product or tool. The rotary helixes are interchangeable from bin to bin. These helixes look like large springs. When the helixes are rotated by the motor, the movement of the helix slides the product forward in the bin until the product falls off the bin and onto the padded delivery compartment. For flexibility, each single bin can be converted to a double bin if the product or tool is too large to be easily moved by a single helix. The shelves in each machine are universal and single and dual bins can be configured on each shelf. For information about converting single bins to dual bins, contact AutoCrib directly. The overall capacity of the RDS is largely dependent on the size and variety of the helix coils used. Typically, the maximum capacity in a single RDS is 60 to 70 bins, depending on your machine's configuration, and 30 packages in each bin using a 30-pitch helix. See the Remote Dispensing Station Bins table in the RDS Operations Manual for a complete breakdown of items, helix pitch, and single or dual bin usage. Please note, additional part numbers for your RDS can be found in the RDS Owner's Manual. If you have larger items that cannot be dispensed using the standard helix setups, we recommend using the dual counter-rotating helix or the dual wide single helixes. Contact AutoCrib for more information on these special circumstances. Typically, bin configuration and setup is performed prior to the installation of the RDS. Occasionally, configurations change between the time the RDS is ordered and the time that it's installed. In these cases, the customer should have the new data ready for input when the system is installed. The AutoCrib distributor can provide guidance to the customer as they input the new data during installation at the customer's facility. Each bin in the RDS has a product adjuster. This feature is designed to help hold the product upright during the dispense cycle. The product adjusters are movable over the top of the helix spring to compensate for different packaging sizes. The product adjuster should be set to within one half to one quarter inch from the edge of the package. This will keep the product from jamming against the walls of the bin or prevent the package from rotating within the helix coil. Making sure your product is packaged correctly is crucial for trouble-free dispensing during the life of your RDS. If requested, AutoCrib will supply the initial lot of packaging based on your inventory orders. It is highly recommended that the same packaging be used for the same product in your RDS all the time. You can purchase the recommended packaging direct from AutoCrib or directly from the packaging suppliers table listed in the AutoCrib operations manual. To ensure trouble-free operations of your RDS, you must use the correct packaging for each helix size. If the packaging is the wrong size, the product may be damaged or the helix drive motor may jam, which can damage the motor, creating downtime for repairs to the dispensing system. Use the packaging and helix combination table in the AutoCrib operations manual to determine which product should go in which package size and what helix size should be used to dispense the product from the RDS. Bear in mind that some simple packaging, such as plastic baggies, coin-type envelopes, and small paper bags will work just fine for small products, and they need no special consideration for dispensing in the RDS. Some product is heavier than others. In most cases, the total weight being supported by the shelf is not an issue but the user should be aware of the amount of force that is required to move these heavier products with a rotating helix coil. The heavier the object, the more force it takes to slide the object on the shelf, and, at the same time, it requires more force from the motor to turn the helix coil that moves the product. AutoCrib has what are called slick pads, a self-adhesive Teflon-based mat that is applied under the helix coils to reduce the amount of friction that a heavy object will produce on just the shelf itself. These pads are a special order item and will help overcome the friction problem when dispensing heavier items from the RDS. Stocking the remote dispensing station is easy. Unlock and move the main door of the remote dispensing station all the way open. Pull out the shelf to be loaded and let it drop down to the loading position. Load the product into each bin, 
making sure the product fits well into the helix coil. Move the product adjusters to hold the product as previously described. Document the inventory you've added to the remote dispensing station on the inventory input sheet. If you are using the TAG database system in the computer management station, this step is not necessary. The proper steps for using the TAG database are shown in the next segment. After you've completely loaded a full shelf, lift and return the shelf to its proper operating position. Repeat this process until all the bins in the shelves are properly stocked or restocked, as the case may be. Close and lock the main door to return the remote dispensing system to normal operation. Now that the remote dispensing station has been stocked, the next segment will show you how to use the TAG database in the computer management station.